think I did some scary stuff in my life on the skateboard, but I was never afraid like this. Words of wisdom don't really matter when it comes to Mega Ramp. I feel like you have to turn your brain off to do this thing. Even Rick, Rick's like a functioning, intelligent human, and there gets to a point where you have to like turn your brain off and just go for it. It's not an easy thing to do, I think. In the mountains of Central Europe, where the tree line breaks into a charming landscape, our host, Rick McCrank, finds himself at the home of the self-proclaimed world's weirdest skateboarder, Almir Yusevich. The seclusion of Almir's small community has allowed him the space to grow creatively in many arts, sculpture, illustration, Marshall. This environment, an ideal training ground for the dreamer. Hi. Hello. Rick. Nice to meet you, Ali. Nice to meet you. From camera to clay. Almir uses multiple mediums to capture his skating. But the internet is where he first made his strange aura known. With viral videos of his skateboarding adding to his mystique over the years. His unique approach has earned him a cult following, especially for his pioneering of one highly unconventional onboard position. What do you call it when you hold the nose like that and do like the bunny hop thing? Zechi. Zechi? Yeah, it's like in Bosnian for rabbit. For rabbit. Oh, yeah, it's, like, or... it's like a rabbit hop thing. Yeah. I think you're the only person that does that. Sektep. What's it called? Sektep. Sektep? Yes. To... Sektep, you know? You probably... Sex tape. No, yeah, sektep. Sektep. Sek. You, you... Sack tap. Sack tap, yeah. Sack tap. Mm-hmm. Whoa, you just jumped over a car. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it was like six or seven or eight days. You tried eight days to jump over that car? Yeah. You bomb hills like that? Yeah, this was not a really good idea. <laughs> you do really weird stuff. You do really technical stuff. And then you do really gnarly stuff. You mean dangerous? Yeah. Yeah. You enjoy when you, you, when you make it, but doing it, there's no fun. Right. Interesting. The tortured skater. Yeah. Almir sees the recognition he's received through his videos as a point proved to the non-believers in his village who scoff at his dream of making a life from skateboarding. Do you feel accepted in skateboarding? I think I'm getting more and more um, attention and people appreciate more and more what I'm doing. But it was not like that. Like, even my friends and I love them and I know they love me, but they thought I'm crazy. This was all fuel for me. I would always stop pushing if I didn't have anybody to prove wrong. Right. It's, maybe it's stupid to hurt myself, to prove to somebody that I'm right. Those people helped me the most. The people that criticized me helped me the most. My mom said that I'm selfish many times. She said, you think just about your skateboard? 
that you don't care about me or that, because if you would care, you would go and have a regular job right. and, and move already <laughs> from our house. Yeah. Follow me. So this is oh, my wow. working room. Amazing. The studio. How long have you been making art like this? It's been 15 years already. 15? Yeah. This is a new sequence, like a year old. Ah, oh, David Gravett backflip. Art keeps me calm. It's like therapy. When I started to sculpture, I noticed that I get uh, the most satisfaction when I make something that came from my head. And um, I have the same approach towards skateboarding. If I would do constantly the same stuff, there would be no reward. Right, yeah. So you like the challenge? Yeah, something to brag about. Yeah. You like bragging? To my friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Play in your hand can be a stress relief. I think we all have problems. And even if I feel bad about myself, uh, this helps me get in a better mood. I think maybe I should drink another schnapps. <laughs> When I started to skateboard, uh, I was seven, and it looked much different from any other sport activity. It looked like, in a way, like a magic. I tried to do something I'm feared of. It makes you grow. Maximal na hitro 123 km na uro. Za tri kilometre na uro presežem svetovni rekord. For some tricks I did, schnapps also helps. <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, I try to be funny. Like doing some bunny hop over stairs and landing on all my fours again. It is funny, but it was not funny doing it. Most of the really successful people had a um, bad childhood. To have such a strong drive and be so willing to, to suffer. I wanted to be special and I knew that being special means being different. If I'm struggling with some trick, and I need like five days to make it. And I finally make it. For a week, I really feel happy. But then I need to <laughs> do another trick to feel happy again. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't um, rely so much on um, doing a trick and uh, feeling better because of it. Almir sees value in individuality, which is evident in his skateboarding and art. But there's something else that sets him apart, something which isn't quite as visible. Two years ago, I noticed on my left testicle that I have some bump, mm -hmm. and I thought, my balls will get cut off, uh, not produce testosterone anymore, and I will grow teeth, and I will not be uh, so crazy as I am. And I felt really bad, really, really bad. When I have a boner, uh, bump is, uh, can be f uh, felt. Right. Um, 
not when I'm like flaccid. Yeah. So the doctor checked my balls and she said that I have variocela. That's like a blood clot. And I told her that my balls are hurting. And she said, maybe you should wear some uh, cup. Yeah. So your balls will not uh, yeah. um, bounce. <laughs> she was checking a little bit around. She said, it's in something else I have to tell you. And I said, what? I, I already thought now the bad news will right. occur. And she said, you have a third ball. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, you have a third ball, but it's really small. It cannot produce uh, so much testosterone that if you would have only this ball, you would be able to make babies, but you have a third ball. I was so proud. <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy. I thought I would end up with no balls. And then I came home and I told my mom I have a third ball. And she said, you know what? You're not so special. Your dad has a third ball as well. I said, <laughs> what? Why didn't you tell me that before? She said, why? You think when we're gonna have a lunch, I'm gonna tell you, your dad is having a third ball? And yeah, this is that story. <laughs> The skateboarder emerges from the forest, crouching down, and then the skateboarder leans down to all fours, jumping, life and limb, face first, triumphantly rolls through the plaza. This is not good for my back. <laughs> Almir has taken Rick from the quiet of his village to the bustle and hum of Slovenia's capital city. Here, they'll partake in some street skateboarding. tricks okay maybe we can uh, I can do this oh okay I'll try that <laughs> but it's even hard to board. stand like this right I can't even stand on my board like that what's that called it's Charlie 360 Charlie? Flip. Charlie 360 flip it's called fourth position in ballet this is a ballet trick no they, they walk like this oh, okay at ballet I don't think I can do it. It's fourth position, he said. It's a ballet trick. Never took ballet. I can't even imagine like what it takes to flip the board like that. Like, I can't visualize it. This is Oh, this is I'm gonna blow my back out. Look out. He almost squished that baby. Oh. Yay! Bravo! Oh my God. That was a good one. <laughs> End of the war. I never thought I would do it. Thanks for teaching me that. Well, thank you. This was a thing I will never forget. Me either. Learning Rick McCrank how to do a Charlie 360 flip. If you were an animal, what animal would you be? I would like to be a bird. Yeah? To fly all the time. I like to have uh, sex. Maybe I would be a rabbit. Yeah. And this is also a bunny. So maybe you're, you're a rabbit? Probably. With wings. Yeah. <laughs> Almer seems like a really sweet person. He seems really introspective and really focused on art and creation. I see him as a real individual. He sort of uh, takes pride in doing things his way and coming up with original ideas. Elmer is the self-proclaimed weirdest skateboarder in the world. I think because he just tries things that no one really does. 
and it looks kind of weird. <laughs> When I started to do my thing, I felt in a way that skaters were wonder what I'm doing. They judged my skateboarding. Do you wish that people accepted your skating more? Yeah, I cannot lie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but um, for me, I'm really enjoying being myself. I feel even if I die tomorrow, I, I was daring enough to dream. And I went for it because I was constantly pushing pressure on myself that I need to do something and leave a mark. If I'm honest, I, I gave my best. Among the many surprising, startling feats that Almir has accomplished on his skateboard, there is one that has eluded him, the mega ramp. His original attempt to leap the mammoth gap in bunny style ended unsuccessfully and left him with damage to his spine. This failed conquest still hangs over him, a dark cloud that he desperately wants cleared. I'm thinking about it if, if, it, if it's selfish from me to go doing it again. I think I'm still fit enough to do it and uh, in a few years, maybe I will not be fit anymore and I will just regret not doing it. If I would have kids, I would... Maybe I wouldn't do it, because then I think it would really be selfish for me to risk my life. But I don't have any kids. I think that main thing is to do this trick over the mega. Then I can um, rest. My mind will rest, I think. We're at the mega ramp. If you don't know what the mega ramp is, I think the name speaks for itself. At the mega ramp, shielded from the Californian sun by the yawning branches of a tree, Almir sits, calming his mind before the daunting task ahead. We're here so Almir can fulfill a dream, and secretly so can I. I've always wanted to skate this thing. Skateboarding used to be called an extreme sport, and I never really thought that was a good name until the mega ramp was created. This is uh, some psycho shit. So why not try it? What could go wrong? Despite its expanse, there's little room for error in the sky. Fifteen foot tall vert ramps never scared me. You know, big giant deep bowls with a bunch of vert never scared me. And the first time I walked up to the top of the mega ramp, I was as scared as I've ever been in my entire life. Just the roll in, you're going faster on a skateboard than you've ever gone before. Faster than any hill bomb you could do. Faster than the biggest vert ramp or the deepest pool. You're going faster than you've ever gone and you're hitting this gap. And after you try it a million times and you finally do land the gap, you land on the down ramp faster than you were going on the 
roll. It's just like, it's so scary. The mega ramp was really just a brainchild of Danny Way, who was an iconic Hall of Fame skateboarder, and he was a top vert transition skater in the late 80s and, and all throughout the 90s. He created this new discipline of skateboarding that no one had even thought of before. There's some people that are just like, it's in their DNA to want to like fly as high as possible and go as fast as possible. And it's cool that skateboarding has madmen like that. You have to wonder why, uh, why anybody would want to do this. I mean, I don't know why I want to do it. You have to embrace speed. The mega ramp is normally done standing up on your skateboard, fully padded, ready. Imagine doing it on your hands and feet, chin first, in a squatting position. I can't think of a scarier way to do this thing, actually, when you think of it. Today we are here um, because I have a wish to try do a mega in a bunny stance. I have special boxer shorts on me, if you want to see them. See your boxer shorts? Yeah. Let's see. Signature model with my initials behind. Aya, A, J. Almer Yusevic, they're quite, quite good for skateboarding because nothing uh, is bouncing, nothing slips by, and that's a common thing with skateboarding. I have schnapps, and my friend, uh, the one that made me those boxer shorts, she made me also a bunny costume since I'm going in a bunny stand. It smells like schnapps. Schnapps. Cheers. Schnapps is uh, it's, it's it's important because it's not really that important. How's it feel to be back? Not good. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared a bit. Was it painful when you first tried it? Yeah. It, yeah, it really was. Just constantly jumping on flat. Your know, skateboard is at least like this. Yeah. So, so it's like two meters. Two meters, yeah. But you're still flying. What are you nervous about with the speed? I'm scared of speed wobble and I'm scared of how I will uh, Compress. If there was a fence beside, I would feel much better. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, because if you get speed wobbles, you could just roll off the side of the ramp. Here is a whole construction, yeah. which is like a metal net. <laughs> <laughs> a cage. Yeah. When you stand up here, it seems impossible to clear this gap. It's pretty far, yeah. Yeah. And I really want to make it, and not just for me. I want to make it for my friends, my parents, and it will be a best day in my life if I'll make it. Maybe I will cry a bit. I cried at home when I was meditating and visualizing mm. how I'm making it. So I you was... imagine landing it and then you yeah. cry? Yeah, it made me cry. I was so happy. I wish that it would be so easy. I didn't fart any. You didn't fart? Yeah, two years ago I was farting. When I came here, I was oh. so nervous. So you're not farting now? No. Even yesterday I didn't fart. I just felt some and then it was nothing. How are the testosterone levels? I know for myself that fear and excitement boost your testosterone level. Right. I tried to not to have sex or masturbate for at least two weeks before coming here. Um, but I failed, so it's about a week since I didn't ejaculate. You got one week? I think so. You're holding so. on to one week? Yeah. Yeah. You got three balls. You got a lot. The Mega Ramp. The stage for Almir's defining dream sequence. Over a period of months, he's prepared his physical being for this moment while also making sure to tend to the spiritual. I prayed 
and ask all the gods and universe and angels to help me stay in one piece and to help me make it. I don't want to end up on a wheelchair or something. And even if I would die, I had a really nice life. I had a threesome twice. And I have uh, great parents and nice friends. My parents, even though they didn't understand why I'm doing what I'm doing, and they didn't saw potential in it. Um, I really had a nice life. I think. Every day in the evening, for the last three years, I've been bowing like this before going to sleep. For the last three years, maybe there was 10 times I didn't bow. Before going to sleep, I forgot because I came home really wasted or I would make a passionate love with my girlfriend. You want to see a tornado kick? <laughs> we need to get dressed up, I think. He's got chest and back protection, fortified gloves, chin. Mouth protector. Mouth protector, teeth. Feeling exposed. Cheers. Thank you. Snaps make you more brave. And stupid too. Amir's gonna drop in from the top here for the first time. You can grab my ass. Oh my god. That looks crazy. Yeah, I'm here. Tap. It's looking solid. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. This transition is challenging when coming on flat, but it will be okay. It's so, so, this is so hard <laughs> for your nerves. It's so hard. I go like one plate higher every time. And every time I go on a jump, feeling is a bit different. I think I need to go step by step, because if I will go from the top, it will be too new for me. Woo! Yes! You landed past halfway. You landed here. Cool. You can see from here that all you kind of look at is the, the landing knuckle. It seems like from here you're gonna get so much speed you're just gonna clear all of the flat section and then land in the landing ramp. Sooner or later we're gonna to have to drop in from here. When you're here you're asking yourself why do you do that? And if I wouldn't do it then I would be miserable. Oh yeah yeah. Right here, Ali. Whoa. I will have a rest, 10 minutes, then I'm on. The expectations one places on themselves can be the heaviest to bear. At the mega ramp, 10 minutes has turned into an hour. 
Enough time for doubt to slip by and bounce around Elmir's mind, exposing a weakness from the past. Uh, he's got some back pain that's really stressing him out. <sighs> I would just like to drop from the top, and even if I don't make it, I dropped from the top. Yeah, that could be And just I the have goal. enough of skateboarding for this life. Like, this is stupid. You okay? I feel like shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What happens if you don't do it? Is it okay? I don't care. Okay. We don't <laughs> yeah, care. It's not that I don't care. This is my yeah. biggest wish. It's a big wish. I thought I'm going to cry when I will make it. No, I'm crying. <laughs> Oh. I was trying so hard to make something out of my skateboarding. I needed to depend on my parents and shit, and it's like, and I'm 35. I think you made something out of your skateboarding, even without this. Yeah, I know, but... You set a big goal. Yeah, but I didn't reach, you know... Yeah. ...what I wanted. That happens. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty bad for Almir right now. He has a lot of pressure in his mind, and I think he feels defeated. And he's really given in to the, to the negative thoughts. And uh, I'm pretty sure he's not going to try it. And I don't blame him. Like, if you're in that kind of mind frame and you're going to do something that could practically kill you, I think, uh, I think it's good to not try it. Maybe he realized that he just, this is too big of a dream. The despair of defeat can be paralyzing. It takes a heroic effort to raise yourself from those depths. I think it's time to man up. Almir has had months to prepare for this moment but there is no way to adequately train for the special brand of terror that comes with dropping in from the top of the mega ramp. Seems like Almir's made a decision and that is that he's got to try it or he won't be able to cope with it. So he's put his bunny suit on, which I think is a more serious step. Something tells me that he'll still feel turmoil even if he lands it. I don't know if it's the mega that's the problem, something deeper with him. I think if you go from the top, you'll clear it and that'll be good enough. <laughs> cool like Elvis. Yeah, dude. Cool like Elvis. <laughs> See you at the bottom soon. See you at the bottom. Uh -huh. It's no big deal now. Yeah, no big deal. Oh my God. Got this, Ali. I think he's just gonna do it. Okay, I need to pee. 
Sorry. You need to pee. You need to pee. Nerves. Pee pee. He's feeling the nerves. I'm feeling the nerves. I can't imagine what he's going through. He's got to turn it all off and go. He's looking. He's looking at the line. He's holding the nose. He's going. Oh my God, dude. The sun slips beyond the horizon. At the top of the mega ramp, Almir has accepted whatever fate awaits him at the bottom. It's time. He's looking at the line. He's holding the nose. He's going. Oh my God, dude. Solid. Oh my God. It was not bird. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I didn't do that, but okay. Dude! I landed on my head. <laughs> oh, Dude, you're okay. Yeah, I'm 100%. great. 100%. I'm great. You did. My back. Is... You went so far. <laughs> Too far. Too far. Yeah. How do you feel? Oh, I'm. I'm I, I have enough of Mega Ramp, I think, for... I, you uh, did it. Oh, my head. Your head? Can you put it off, please? Yeah, yeah. Oh. How is it? What did I do, a backflip? Yeah, you did half of a backflip. You went... <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no! Oh. You landed on your head. That was 60 feet to your head, I'd say. It's you bunny the Mega from the top. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Dude. That was so crazy. <laughs> Stupid. Wow. Oh. And I'll be again wanting to come back, Stari. <laughs> I should just go. Oh, but my head. Yeah, you probably had whiplash. whiplash, yeah. I think it's enough for today. I dropped from the top. Even that is like satisfying for me. With Almir forced to the sidelines, it's Rick's turn on the mega. I think the key to this right now is to just simplify everything. Don't think about all the camera people and the wind or what Ollie's going through. I'm just gonna drop in, go straight and air over it. The simple things. It's hard, it's so fast that if you, you, you really have to commit to make it. <laughs> it's fast. I don't know if I'll ever get used to that. That was amazing. Ruining my work shirt. This is fast. <laughs> fast is fine, but fast and then an obstacle? Come on. I gotta do it right now. You gonna have some schnapps for me? Yeah, you want some? I don't drink, but... Yeah, we will all drink for okay. you. Okay. 
I'm gonna put the wheels down right here. Yeah, you got it. I'm doing it for you, man. You're inspiring me. Thanks. That's beautiful to hear someone like Rick McCrank to say you inspire me. I drank too much. I land on my wheels. I felt some success there because I've actually aired it and landed on my wheels, which has been a lot harder than I thought it would be. You know, I'm ruining my clothes for nothing. I gotta do it right. Look at this. It's getting dark. I got one more try. It's probably technically too dark, but I think I can land it and ride it further and you know, I'm giving it all my all. This is it. We're losing light. We lost light. That's the best I could do, dude. It's okay. I it tried. It was good enough. Bravo. Thank Bravo. you, sir. Thanks for the inspiration. Thank you. you. Thank you. You did inspire me. Like, what you did is way gnarlier than what I did. Ah. Dreams don't come to us fully formed. They're planted by a stray idea and grow with us and through our experiences. They can change and sometimes never come to be. In Slovenia, where he first began his practice as a skateboarder and an artist, Almir began collecting those dreams. Small at first, and then bigger and bigger, until they outgrew his village and brought him to America, where his dreams ultimately shot him through the sky and onto his head. He's risked his life and relationships in an attempt to become something, something he always was and just hadn't realized, a rabbit with wings. Yes, Mama Moy. <laughs> 